Welcome back to Rant Apocalypse Talks, HBO's amazingly awesome new TV show, Westworld. I'm Justin, and for this video, I'm going to give you definitive proof that the man in black has been confirmed as... <laughs> William. That's right. It's true. The man in black is indeed William. William is indeed the man in black. HBO does an awesome job with Westworld with showing these in the weeks to come or the weeks ahead. They kind of give us a teaser preview for what's going to happen for multiple weeks episodes. And so there was something I caught in episode, I believe it was after episode six. We got the preview that was entitled The Maze, Weeks Ahead. And in that, we see an image of William coming up on Logan. And it looks like a lot of the Confederados have been killed where we see William coming up on Logan. And there's this snapshot image of William coming up to Logan holding a knife. It's a knife that we've seen quite a few times before, but not used by William. It was the knife that was actually used by the man in black. And we see that this knife in all of its glory, very good close-up shots in episode five, which is entitled Contrapasso, whenever Ford has the convo with the man in black and Teddy at the table of the bar. Whenever the man in black grabs the knife, he says, I wonder what it would be like if I cut you open. And of course, Teddy swoops in and slams the man in black's hand on the table, which was holding the knife. And you get a fantastic image of the knife. And this knife is definitively the knife that the man in black has in that episode and William has in the preview of the what's to come in the weeks ahead. So that's not the only definitive proof. The other proof is they actually have the exact same shirt. I don't know what to call these things other than the little ruffles, but you can see that the man in black under his scarf, he's got these little ruffles on, on his shirt. And we also see that William's shirt, we see him with Dolores, and he's got the same exact shirt. So a lot of people have been talking about this for quite some time. Are these two actually the same person? Are they in alternate timelines? How the hell could the man in black suddenly become such an evil asshole if it was William in the first place? Because when we're first introduced to William, he's super nice. He doesn't want to hurt anybody. He doesn't want to hurt the host. He doesn't want to hurt other humans. But we've been seeing quite the few turns with William over the last couple of weeks of where he's getting a lot better at killing. As Lawrence points out that he says, you got a knack for killing. And we see that he's kind of enjoying it. There was a very, very telling shot in episode seven, whenever the ghost nation comes in to take out the confederados and you see William with this just shit eating grin smile on his face of just being pleased with all this death that was around him. And he has the conversation with Dolores after they went to the bone zone about how she's unlocked something in him. This is his deeper self. It's not his lowest form self. It's not his base self but the park has unlocked something in him. I think that it's unlocked that he can do a lot more things than he thought he could. He's not this meek person that he was before he came into the park. And I think the reason why the man in black seeks the center of the maze and the reason why he wants to make it there is because of his love for Dolores. I know which is kind of weird because when we're first introduced to the man in black, he is dragging Dolores. He's smacking the crap out of Dolores. But I believe that it's because in the timeline that we see William and Dolores, Dolores is becoming very sentient. She's basically unlocking her consciousness and she is in love with William as well. And all the man in black wants to do is to get back to that point because I do think that in the future we're gonna see some event happen where Dolores, she loses this sentient side of herself because Ford comes in to play and is like, nope, not having that, we're gonna wipe that out. So I believe that that's why the man in black slash William is trying to get to the center of this maze so that way he can unlock Dolores to take her back to where she was in this timeline that we're seeing presently with Dolores and William. So that way she will once again be in love with the man in black who also happens to be William. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think that William is indeed the man in black? I want to know all your thoughts in the comment box down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.